Good day, folks, and welcome back to the channel for part 10 of my Beginner's Primal Strike Elementalist playthrough. Uh, this episode, we will be completing Ashes of Malmoth, and we'll see how we go for time, but the plan is to at least start Forgotten Gods. Um, yeah, let's get into it. There's no gear changes to speak of at the start of this episode. I didn't go and futilely try and get a new ring or anything like that, so we're good. Um, there may come a point like when I hit level 55 I think I will go and farm a new weapon but um we'll see how we go for that I might try and do a couple of runs while I'm recording and then uh, if it doesn't work out I'll just leave it this uh, this uh, particular axe is more than good enough for now so out here in the candle district uh, we're looking for wax and wicks so as we can make some candles um Looks like we're going to get that from the wagons, so we'll blow the wagons up, and uh, then we can get some candles underway. We've also got a uh, bit of a coin flip up ahead, in terms of if Old Mate wants to live today or not. Um, you can see the three dots on the map there. That is two children and uh, someone who may or may not choose to die today. And it's uh, pretty much 50-50. I have it despised with the Ethereal Vanguard, which is nice. We'll start getting a few more heroes now. Um, so, Nico, do you want to die today or not? Let's uh, let's find out. Um, oh. There we go. He's chosen to live, which I guess is nice for him. I'm actually not sure what the difference in uh, reward outcome is from that quest. I should probably look that up. Not that I can affect it at all, but... Um, I don't know, maybe if he chooses not to commit suicide by player character, then um, he might get a few extra bonuses or something, I'm not sure. Alright, anyway, we're going to work our way across the top of this area. And, um, you know what, I am going to go and farm a new weapon after this area. I want to have it ready to go at 55, so maybe a little bit of farming in this episode. We'll see how good my luck is. I may give up after a few runs without finding one. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, making my way across the top of this zone uh, because of the dynamite, and sometimes you do get one of the wagons up here. Um, probably this one, but I, I think it's somewhere else. Anyway, here's our treasure trove. These are the only spots that I check along the right-hand side of the map here. Um, not because I don't want to get the treasure trove if it's somewhere else, it's more that I just don't remember where the other spawn locations are. This one on the side here, and I think there's another spot down there, are the ones that I remember. So they're the ones that I check. And uh, the ones that I don't remember, unsurprisingly, I don't check <laughs> because I don't remember them. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, law notes here. I think it can spawn here as well. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think it can. All right. We have wagon numero uno is dead and gone. And we've just got two more to find. We've also got a big golem dude to beat down, so he will let us open the door. Got a nice little hidden area out the back here. Uh, there's not a huge amount out here. There's a couple bodies, and that's about it. Um, having said that, though, Empowered Mistwalker Leggings is not bad at all. Look at the resistances on that. Now, my current pants... Um, Yeah, they've got some lightning stuff on, and they've got that proc that it is doing damage types that I don't do. But this one's got resistances as well, so yeah, it's a definite maybe. I'm going to hang on to those. We'll see how we go. I may or may not use them. You know the deal. Put it in the pile and pretend I'm going to use them later and then sell it when no one's watching. We'll see how we go. All right, here we go. So big chest up there. I don't know what's in it. I'm going to go find out, though. And then we'll head back down to street level, I think. Um, actually, while we're up here, we may as well get the law notes. So along the top here is a bunch of bodies, and I can never remember exactly which ones it is, but I think it's... Is it three? Two or three law notes up here on, on random bodies, like this guy right here. Pretty sure has one. Renox remains. Yep. There's one. I think there's a, there's a couple of these up here. Um, kind of doesn't really explain so much as like 
um, fleshes out a little bit of, of what was happening in the city when the Ethereals showed up. So if you're interested at all in that sort of backstory, then uh, definitely come and check out the corpses up the top here. I thought there was another one. Uh, apparently I misremembered, so there you go. But there's at least one. And I'm pretty sure it continues. Maybe I, maybe I wasn't wrong. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. If I find it, great. If I don't find it, oh well. Life goes on. I'm going to drop a rift gate here because I've still got to get two more wagons. And we're about to run outside of the city, which includes a rift gate. So that's going to be perfect to come back to here. All right. So uh, Bolag here. My good friend Bolag does a decent amount of damage, um, but we regenerate like nothing. So it just kind of doesn't matter. And he was just going to fall over. So let's go ahead and pop the gate open. Should probably spend those points now that I've got them. Um, don't need any of that, so just into the bar. What are we up to for physique? One more, and then I will consider putting points into other things. I may just continue pumping physique, honestly. Putting more points in physique is never the wrong answer. It just might not be 100% optimal. But it's always a good choice. Alright, here's my rift gate. Let's head back to my personal rift and go wagon hunting. We haven't made those candles yet. Uh, there should be one just over the road here. And then I probably missed the first one up north because I often walk past it without even noticing. Okay, bunch of ethereals, bunch of ethereal vanguards, and there's my one cart. Now we just need the two cut, and we're done. Decent amount of bits in these. I know they increase the amount of bits you get from pretty much everything recently, but um, I've really been noticing it recently, uh, especially farming for the Warlock. Um, definitely noticing it's raining bits fairly often. So I'm pretty sure my, um, my cart is going to be in that little black section there. So I'm going to head back in here, and we're going to take the, uh, I'm going to call it a shortcut. I'm going to take the shortcut back over this way. We'll head outside, and we should be fairly close. I'm pretty sure it's going to be on this side of the river, somewhere in that black section of the map that I haven't explored yet. Might even be on the map as soon as I zone out, honestly. Not quite. But yeah, it's going to be in this section here. Should see it pop up. There it is. Yeah, I, I walk straight past it, I guarantee you. Alright, we don't need to be here, uh, but, you know me, I love my Aether Crystals. Um, there we go. So, back into the sewers. We will eat our conversation pie from Captain... Was it Captain Wilfer? Um, I think we gotta talk to Krieg as well. Or is it Olgrim? I don't remember. Might even be both. That's creep. All right, cool. Free loot in town. Lovely. Okay, so Creed is going to send us outside to clear the, uh, clear the, what do we call that? The steel cap district. Um, we can sell all of that. Eat, eat that. Uh, do I need the run speed actually? Why not? A little bit of extra run speed. It's only 5%, but it's better than nothing. All right, what do we get from him? A mark of illusions. Well, lucky me. Let's bank all this. Try and remember that I have that um, that anti venom salve there. Let's be honest, I'm going to forget. All right, so I think what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, clear out the steel cap district here, and then we're going to go and see if I can't find a new weapon. And I would love to get a sky fallen of alacrity. Uh, but we'll see what drops, if anything. Um, I might do, let's say, three or four runs. Alright, let's turn the loot off. Not really interested in that until after all this is dead. Get a few of the little uh, whirly boys out. Get some resistance shredding. Some uh, elemental storm action going on. 
Three of them should be enough. Should be enough to proc the elemental storm on cooldown. What do we get? Crushing will. Well, that's an offhand, so it's unfortunate. Alright, and we don't have any merchants out here yet. But uh, we will survive. Okay, I'll talk to the captain. He's going to be down here. And we can accept all of the quests. Right. Now, let's go see if we can't get a new bashy stick. So, as before, the way to farm this is to literally ignore everything. Half of this stuff is going to die anyway, just from hitting me. Um, but, literally ignore everything. I was going <laughs> to... I was going to be very, very happy if that was first one there. Um, but yeah, just ignore everything, run past it all, spawn the statues, kill them if they have a lightning one, and otherwise just keep walking. There's no need to fight any of this. Um, that's not blocked over there, so we'll go this way. Uh, these ones that are already active, I've had a couple of them that have the lightning sticks, but generally speaking they don't. However, I do think it's worth checking anyway. That one never stands up, so... R.I.P. I guess. Got one more just over here. Yep. This guy I've never seen with the lightning stick either. It's always... he's always fire. I'm sure he can be lightning, and potentially I'm misremembering and he's been lightning for me before, but I don't remember it. And just before we go down there, there's I think one or two more over this way. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have come this way. Oh. In for a penny, in for a pound. I'm um, pretty sure it's the still way here. Yep, there we go. And surprise, surprise, no lightning stick. Alright, that's fine. We'll just do a little bit of backtracking here. And we'll head down to the next floor. Uh, for anyone who doesn't want to watch this section, I will put a timestamp in the comments if I remember. And if you don't see the comment, go ahead and yell at me. Um, in the description, sorry. Go ahead and yell at me if it's not there, and I'll put it in. But, um, I know some people don't really love the farming sections, so... I will try to remember to put a timestamp you can skip to. Alright, two fireboys. Definitely not what we're after. This little section here, um... Well, you don't have the stick that I want, but I'm gonna kill you anyway. Um, nothing personal, just, uh, you know, made out of loot and XP and all that. And reputation, more importantly. So yeah, you see these four here. Um, they, it's actually, I think the first time I've seen four of them there. But uh, they can have the lightning sticks as well. Same with these guys, already active. Unfortunately, they're all packing fire sticks today. We get two more. Nope, nothing more. Alright, exit menu. We go again. Now I had someone in the comments of the uh, the little farming guide I made for these uh, tell me that they've done this run 30 times without seeing a single one of these. And, um, well, RIP is all I can say. Um, I don't think I've ever gone for more than maybe six or seven runs through here without at least seeing one. So uh, 30 runs is definitely pretty bad luck. This guy seems to be down more often than not. Um, let's actually go this way. Come on, lightning stick. Nope. I'm gonna kill this guy though. Doing this is actually uh, pretty good for my reputation, uh, now that I'm thinking about it. Because every time I kill one of these, it's an extra 35. Um, and that'll go up once I get someone to... Uh, Honored. I think we're going to be going with Soleil. Actually, I think we've already picked Soleil for the uh, the lightning and slash chaos stuff. All right, come on, my kingdom for a single lightning sword, or I guess they're axes. Not today. Okay, and there's one more up here that sometimes spawns just here. There he is. And he's fire as well. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, but we'll head downstairs and see if they have any friends who'd like to donate 
to the uh, Lit Pikers Kill Things a Little Bit Faster fund. Okay, you are fire, and you don't have any friends today. How unfortunate for you. How about you guys? Just the one fire and no friends. Well. It's unfortunate for them, isn't it? Unfortunate for me as well. I'd love them to have friends, and I'd love them to have uh, lightning sticks. Alright, here we go. Lightning. Nope. Fire. Lightning. Fire. Okay. Two runs, no sticks. Do I hear three? What's going to be absolutely infuriating is I'll do five or six runs, finally get one of these to drop, and it'll be the level 40 base. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, he's still fire as well. Can't win today. I had, um, I guess you'd call it a blurst run. It was blessed because uh, I dropped five or six of them in one in one run, and it was cursed because they were all, you know, fire or vitality damage and whatnot. Your fire, your fire. Everybody's fire. Actually, let's go. Um, Let's go up the top here. There's potentially a couple up here. Get out the way. I'm not here to kill you, but I will if you don't get out of the way. Those are both fire. Um, you're arcane. You need to go. I probably shouldn't be doing this totem, uh, but at the same time, I, I kind of want to. If for no other reason um, than uh, the reputation. What is that? What are you? You're just a rock. You're just a rock, aren't you? You're part of that totem. Okay. That's fine. Pazgada. That's an interesting name. And Olzoar. Olzar? Whatever. Xpizar. Alright. Uh, you're standing up, so that's no good. How about old mate up here? Yep, you're laying down on the job. Fire. Oops, I'm blocked off. Let's go this way instead. You've got a star. I'm going to kill you. So, Algandir. Unfortunately, been unsubscribed from life. Well, unfortunate for him. And no statue there. This one here is the one in this little section that I've noticed the most. Um, being able to stand up. The rest of them are pretty much always just statues. Okay, what do we got? We got fire, we got uh, already standing. Um, I'm gonna go around the other way. There's one next to this little pathway there that's usually laying down on the job. This guy here. Um, I'm guessing because I pointed it out, he's decided that he would uh, prove me wrong. <laughs> Okay, both of you guys are fire. Doorway is blocked. There's level 55, so I wanted to have this weapon ready to go when I hit 55. Unfortunately, uh, with this build, it's actually impossible to not kill things as you run past, so... You know, actually getting some XP while I do this. Not ideal, uh, but it is what it is. So we got three more fire boys. Um, have I already done that? Yeah, it's restored. Yep, yep, yep. yep fire. Man, I need to stop recording. My luck has been horrendous. I should just do this without recording. <laughs> we'll go one more run and then I'll give up and do it in between episodes. Um, and then we'll go finish... Uh, yeah, we'll do this run. If I don't get a weapon, we'll go finish Ashes and uh, maybe I will record a little bit more at the end of that. We'll see. You need to die. You've got a little star above your head. Codex of Reckoning, I'll sell that. I'm also kind of getting to the point where I don't really care about rares so much anymore. So I'm considering turning them off on the filter. Although only a million iron bits at the moment is not great. 
So this friendly with Bismail and I assume Dreg. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's check these two. He's laying down. And he's fire. I'm gonna skip the um despise with the Eldritch Horrors. I'm gonna skip the totem there. Just takes a little bit of extra time. Absolutely worth doing it though. Um Forsaken. Eh. It's okay. More loot, more XP, more reputation is the thing that I'm most interested in from them. Okay, so at the end of this one, I believe it's going to be four runs. And so far, at least, I haven't seen a single lightning stick yet. And the first floor is not giving me one. Okay, that's fire, that's fire. Doorway's blocked. Old mate here. Hey, there we go, there's a lightning one. What do you got for me? Charged of thunder. Um, well, it is an upgrade. I'll finish this, uh, this level and then we'll go swap it over. Ideally, like I said, I want the, uh, the one with the extra plus four to primal strike, but take what you can get, right? It's better than still having a level 40 weapon, that's for sure. Um, I'm not going to go back to check those guys. Uh, we're just going to move on. I will, however, go around the corner here. Hey, there's another one. Charged of Thunder again. All right, maybe it's got better rolls. It's not completely rubbish already, um, even though it Probably is not going to be great. What is the uh, second one? Yeah, it looks like it's not as good. I'll have a better look when I'm not being attacked. You're back to fire. You're also fire, and old mate here is also, also fire. Alright, as long as we're here, I'm going to kill this guy. Um, we may as well just uh, actually just beat him down. Watch as he freezes me, and then I immediately explode. <laughs> nah, he's going down. Alright, cool. The Black Hand of San Arsin. Is this the one that's flipping the guy off? No, it's not. Okay, and you know what? You're annoying me. Uh, Searing of Scorching. Yeah. Not horrible. Not particularly useful, but not horrible. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and grab the uh, Amber off of my weapon. So this one here, which, which, um, hang on, let's eat that. What else we got here? Chains of Anguish? Um, no. So this one is 8 to 46 flat. This one's 8 to 43. A little bit more. I think I like this one better. I know this one says that it's more damage. Uh, but I like this one better. I'm not sure I believe it. Plus 27 damage per second. I'm assuming that's from like the 9% additional lightning damage, because there's nothing else on there that's different. It's got less flat lightning damage, less electrocute damage, less physical to lightning conversion, less life, less offensive ability, everything else is the same. I think, uh, I think the game's drunk. And I think we're going to sell the rest of this. And we'll get on with uh, Ashes of Malmoth now. So we've got a new weapon. I might try and farm another one uh, in between episodes. But this one's good enough for now. Okay, so we were up to the Steel Cap District. Let's go for a run through an Aether City. Um, do, 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 tempted to do something about this, though. Don't really care so much about the Chaos Res. So do I... do I swap that in? Uh, it's like 30% extra damage. I may regret this later, but I think it'll be fine. I think, uh... Being normal difficulty, it should be okay. Okay, note to Amy Brainock. 
sure it's very important, but it tastes like XP to me, so nom 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 nom. Okay, criminal records, lovely, lovely. Again, I'm sure it's very important, but uh, once more it tastes like XP, so we're going to eat it. Hopefully the microphone's not picking up all the drill sounds in the background. Definitely my ears are picking them up. It does look like it's being filtered out, but uh, it's a very inconvenient time of day to be drilling. Anyways, uh, we're into the second little area here, and there is sometimes... Is it Storm Titan who's over here? Over here on the left? I think it's Storm Titan. Let's go see if he's home. Uh, or am I in the wrong place? I might be in the wrong place, you know. Definitely got a little bit of lightning going on. I think it's this little, uh, this little square here is one of his spawning spots. I could be wrong about that. Uh, it may have been a different bounty target. Actually, you know what it is? It's, it's going to be a bounty target and I don't have the bounty. That's what it's going to be. Uh, right, send the supplies back and grab those bits and be on our way. So this little area here is for Yvonda's quest later on. I'm probably not going to do that quest. Um, I won't lie to anyone. I'm not hugely interested in Yvonda or her hidden stash. Um, although, I guess it is worth reputation, so it's a definite maybe. Okay, Arcane Bomb leveling up is very good. That's more damage for us. Uh, in addition to more damage, we get more and more damage because now it's going to shred additional resistances. So, very happy about that. Um, let's go... Yep, I can send you both. I promise. Um, except Old Mate here has chosen to die in the street instead of literally being teleported to safety, where I'm sure he would be fine. But hey... Who am I to deny him a horrible, ugly death on the side of the road in an ethereal infested city? Alright, so I say this every time I come to this corner, and it's not scary. So I'm not going to say it this time, and we'll see if it's scary. <laughs> okay, ethereals come pouring out. Paraxis is here. Oh lord, he coming. Well, actually, he's, he's already here. Um, so yeah... The thing I normally say here is that this is the most dangerous corner in the city. Uh, because you have Haraxis and his little gang of friends, and then you also have you know, anything that was spawned here, and then all the, uh, all the mages and stuff come pouring out of this building, and uh, you can quickly get overwhelmed. Uh, however, this build apparently just doesn't care, and uh, it's no problem. So we'll keep moving on here. Now, I've already killed Haraxis, but if your Haraxis wasn't on that corner, then there's a pretty good chance he's going to be in here with this free dynamite right next door to the exalted stash that's going to cost you a dynamite to get into. I'm sure that's a coincidence and the developers didn't put that there specifically so you could get in without having dynamite on you. Just a coincidence. Um, I am going to clear the Black Iron Dock store there, because at some point, I'm sure, I'm going to come back and do that. I don't know if I'm going to have the reputation to do it. I can never remember if that's the last of the ones you don't need rep for, or if it's the first of the ones you do. Um, but I will probably come back and do it at some point. Okay, these gloves are quite good. Now, I had the normal version of these before. And I can't use these yet. However, that elemental seal is going to be quite useful when we get hit. Aether resistance is pretty useful. And then the flat elemental and other damage is also quite good. The downside, of course, is that I would be a single point over the elemental resistance cap. And there would now be no point to using the Perdition face guard. So I need to keep my hands, or uh, not my hands, my eyes open for a new helmet as well. Maybe I can go look at one of the, uh, is it the Ascended Diadem, I think? Although, 
I'm pretty sure that's for druids rather than uh, elementals, but I can have a look. Could be good. Hey, maybe one of these guys will drop one. Nope. <laughs> nope, very quickly uh, put the kibosh on that. Alright, now there is a devotion shrine just up ahead, so I'm going to go get that. You can also potentially blow the door up, uh, but I think I'll pass. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drop a gate, a rift, right there. And then I'm going to continue on this way over the bridge, blow the door up, go in, grab the rift, and then come back. Um, and I'll actually need to go past the bridge because I'm not leaving the rift there. But it'll be fine. Okay, here's Hiram. Get back to town so you can sell me things. Although, to be fair, the thing I wanted to buy from you, I've already got it, so, you know, stay there if you want. Alright, level up on Turtle Shell. Pretty happy with that. Um, Figilius Stormbile is a very awkward name. I think if my parents named me that, I would probably disown them. Alright, so we need to go up that, up that way, across the bridge. However, the other thing we need to do is head up this way. There is another exalted stash just around the corner here. So let's grab that. We've got Malduin's Koth, cloth, which is horrible. Absolutely worthless for this build. Um, am I missing a lot or what's going on there? Ah, small chance to miss. Uh, the other thing I need to do is go over this way and get the other set of missing people before I head across the bridge. So here they are hanging out a little bit more um, well hidden than the last group who were sitting right in the middle of the town being patrolled around. Yeah, we're definitely picking up the, uh, the drilling noises now. Unfortunate. Um, you know what? I'm not going to re record a half an hour, so just have to deal with it for a little bit, unfortunately. Alright. Chest armor is no good. Source is no good. I was kind of hoping for a helmet, but it is what it is. Here's my bomb. So we can blow the door down now. And most of this should die with not too many troubles. Destroy the gate. In we go. And it's time to back up. So let's head back to our rift. We have a devotion point to go and fetch, and there's another flesh weaver also in the lighthouse down here. There we go. Alright. Uh, yep, let's go in. So I can't remember this flesh weaver's name. I was farming him a little while uh, for my Kabbalist way back when. Um, and then I discovered that the MIs that he drops are for sale in the Steel Cap District at High Ram, so I don't farm him anymore after that. <laughs> but I guess you do get a uh, reputation for farming him instead of just buying the item you need. So I'm probably going to go kill him anyway. Um, helmet, good armor, crap resistances, and yeah, not so great. Alright, let's turn this on. And should be relatively easy. We're still on normal, so none of this should be hard. Having said that, there's there's a fine line between not hard and whatever that was. It was like four monsters. Alright, so we've finished the Rowan's Crown. The next thing I want to get my hands on is Altos. And Altos needs six red and ten green. So we need to get a couple more green um, and a couple of red. The other thing I would do want to get is the Harvestman's Scythe. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Viper. And we're actually done here, so whatever his name is gets to live another day. We're going to go back to the Coven. And I'm going to respec out of the... is it the Lizard? The three-point regen one at the start. I'm going to spec out of that and we'll take Viper instead. We'll take Viper. That will get me for one additional point 
I'm swapping uh, five blue to three and uh, getting two red instead. Uh, this is also more um, elemental shredding. So 20% reduced target to elemental resistance for three seconds. Does indeed stack with this one. Does not stack with this. So we'll see how we go for that. Um, but that's reds and blues, which I do need. I may end up going with the jackal here to get the... Uh, what would that be? That would be seven reds. Yeah, and then... Well, this doesn't have any green, so I'd have to get maybe uh, maybe Scholar's Light. I forget, I haven't got the plan up, but uh, there is a plan. I'll have to have another look at it. Uh, for now, though, we'll leave that. So, Captain Will 4 here. Thank you for the XP. You don't have a quest yet. Let's go to Rinia. Okay, she doesn't yet love me enough to give me the quest for the Black Iron Docks. Um, or I have to do the Crown Hill stuff first. I'm not sure. Apparently I missed a level up somewhere. Um, that's very unusual. I never do that. <laughs> okay, let's increase Spirit up to 10 and then we'll see how it look. Um, I am thinking about... Like I said, getting some cunning, just for the offensive ability. Um, definitely more of that is better. The other thing I wanted to show, and I'm just going to show it, but uh, if you put that particular medal on, which I have been hanging on to just for this exact reason, um, turns your Primal Strike into a pink Primal Strike, which is kind of cool. Unfortunately, it's only the Primal Strike it converts, and uh, you end up still doing a lot of lightning damage. Um, especially because this this weapon is lightning damage, so you need to get a Vitality damage weapon as well. But it does look cool, so, you know, there's that. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Not for me, though. Um, also, I know this is... so formidable of attack is actually quite good, uh, but... I need the resistances too much. I think I'm just going to sell it. I think same deal with these pants. If anything, I would use those, I think. Yeah, that can go. We'll hang on to those. What about the boots? Um, we'll keep them for now. I don't think I'm actually going to end up using those, uh, but maybe if I get the empowered ones to drop. Potentially, maybe, probably not. You know, maybe. Okay, so speak with Olgrim in the Crown Hill. So let's go get that done. We'll say hi to Olgrim. We'll go bash the conduits for him. Um, where is he? Here he is. Okay, I'll take care of the vents. We are actually just going to beeline straight for the first vent. I'm gonna fry everything with electricity. Just definitely one of the prettier builds I've ever made. So Chadris, the Cold Heart here, for some reason, just takes no damage and then all of a sudden he explodes. Um, stairs doing stair things. Everybody knows by now how I feel about stairs. Uh, haunted Vestments, no. Ascended Conduit, no. Hagras, where'd you go, Hagras? There he goes. Ascended Vestments, no. So all those MIs are just going to stay on the floor there. Going to very carefully and slowly navigate the stairs and we're out here so first vent and i'm gonna actually run around here just to clear this area so i can see it for shrines later on i may or may not do some shrine hunting there and we'll just jump back here and then by the time we get to the last vent we'll be right next to the boss area so we can just walk right in sit right down tell him to let his hair down or however it is that song goes. I think it's Baby Let Your Hair Lay Down. Something like that. Catchy song. Catchy enough that I remember it anyway. Alright, vent number two. Done. Next up, this little section here, if you're looking to farm the Ascended stuff, this, this little section is usually pretty good. You can see there's maybe ten, ten of those mages down there. Plus a few that were already up here. Watch as I get exactly zero of them. 
Well, there's one ascended source, so. Anacon do it. Alright, now we're cooking with gas. Haven't actually seen any any of the uh, the helmets, the pet helmets. Um, ascended, uh, is it the crown the pet one? I'm not sure. All right, devotion shrine here. I'm probably going to keep the point for now, actually, and uh, consult the plan later. Also, just duck down here, and you can see where the uh, the totem is going to be later on if I end up farming for that. There's only one other place it can be, it's kind of over here-ish somewhere, I don't know. But if it's not in the two that I've uncovered, I know it's over there. Alright, Valaxteria. Anyone who's farmed the Krieg set knows and loves Valaxteria. Down she goes, what do we got here? Arcane Robes, Lost to Storm Totem, no. Senate Authority, eh, no, none of that's any good. Fanog, the Iceborn. Got some really interesting names here. What do we got? Eastern Gloves. Nah. More of a druid thing and, and not for Primal Strike. Okay, we've got a few more Spellbreakers. Still no, uh, no Ascended items here. I think I missed this guy like four times. Anyway, got him. Okay, there's my uh, there's my shrine. It'll show up on the map now, so don't have to go over there. I'm also not going to do that shrine this time. Um, we've got bigger fish to fry. All right, get out the door quick. Down the back alley. This is our third vent, so this will unlock the door, and we can go in and say hi to Theoden and all of the other associated rubbish in between here and there. So Theoden lives in here. Theoden does aether and lightning, I think, from memory. Um, maybe some other minor damage types, but aether and lightning are the big ones. And I'm not particularly scared of him, actually, even with uncapped. Aether resistances. I think I'll just walk in and kill him. I'm probably not going to spend too much time in here bashing walls for, for loot that's not going to be much good. Um, I think there's a couple on the way, so I'll grab those, but the few that are over here, um, the ethereals can keep those. Let's just jump through here. Now this little section here, when you get to this, uh, you can bash this wall down here. And uh, you've got yourself a hidden Flesh Dwarp Spoils. And as always, it's it's almost certainly going to be nothing. Uh, but decent amount of bits and, you know, maybe you could get something good. Just past here as well, you can duck in to this little section for another one. And same deal. It's almost certainly going to be nothing, but you might get something juicy. Right, we've got a few of the worms. This little section here is good for um, the the mages. There's often a hero mage here. Not today, though. All right, let's make our way downstairs, and we'll say hi to Krieg. Now we haven't seen Krieg for what are we in Act Six now? So five acts. Um, but he's here, up to his own mischief. Yep, your kingdom's about to not have a king. Okay, Ethereal Barrier. This is the, there's a boss past here door, but realistically it doesn't matter. So here's Flesh Weaver Creek. And generally speaking, just blow him up. I don't think I've ever had an issue with him on any of my characters. So just kill him, blow up the dynamite site, and uh, you're done. Uh, respected with Malmoth resistance is quite nice. Here is, is that Hagelvar? That is Hagelvar. So Hagelvar is part one of two for the key that opens the door to Theoden. Uh, he can be a little rippy sometimes. Uh, it seems like this character just kind of doesn't care. So that's definitely fun. 
and you can just face tank the entire world. Um, I'm a little worried about that, actually. Um, <laughs> don't want to get bored. Just being able to walk in, hold left click and everything explodes around you is actually not fun. Is that Storm Titan? Don't know, he's already dead. There we go, Stormcaller's effigy. Whole bunch of rubbish there. Just leave it on the floor. Okay, so Theoden in here. If you don't have good lightning and Aether Res, go drink a potion or something. Um, this build is absolutely cracked, so you'll be fine. Honored with Black Legion. Can I leave this fight halfway through? I definitely can't, but I want to. Alright, so Theoden number the first is dead. The king is dead, long live the king and all that rubbish. Come on, get off the wall. Alright. Once again, he should die very quickly. With almost no effort. Face tank everything. Honestly, the, the hardest part of normal fights is... Uh, is just getting your resistances maxed and then you can tank everything. It doesn't matter. Let's get another uh, Whirly Boy out, shred some more resistances, and like I said, he's gonna go down. No issues. Boom, there he goes. Alright, lovely. Give me the loot. I didn't see any of his friends coming down the sides here either, so there's a good chance there may be some on their way. Uh, doesn't look like it. Alright, we're done. Let's head on out. Now the first thing I need to do, and the most important thing here, is I need to head back to Homestead because I saw the words Honored with Black Legion, which means I need to get the writ. And while I'm at it, I'll check if I've got Honored with anybody else. Okay, Honored. Who else we got Honored with? Uh, Homestead? Just? That's it. Alright. Homestead's another good one to get. Um, They'll have some stuff at level 70 we can use. So definitely buy Homestead. Pretty much everyone except the Outcast I usually buy. Alright, let's go turn this quest in, see what uh, what item we get for it. And then maybe spend 10 minutes doing uh, some farming for extra gear. Okay, Master of Flesh is no more. What do we get? Silver Bolt. Well, that's rubbish. Okay, we're gonna go do the Black Iron Docks, then we'll worry about that. So, putting points in Spirit, putting points in... hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna put one point in here for now. I don't expect to see this trigger for a very long time, but I'm gonna take one point in it, and then we're gonna max out Thermite Mine. As long as we're here. We'll go ahead and buy all that stuff. Okay, uh, Black Iron Docks, let's go do that. Uh, turn this one into... There we go. Uh, quickest way, probably... Might even be just a run. Honestly, it's not particularly f close to any option, so we'll just go this way. Too many... Too many stairs. <laughs> Sounds so quiet without all the monsters running around. Okay, let's just duck down here. Oh, that's an eighth crystal. I want that. Thank you. It's weird. It's like running through an empty city. It's too quiet. How's the Serenity, though? <laughs> Speaking of great movies. Alright, nearly there, nearly there. Um, I think we can go this way. Got a few extra things to kill here. Is Storm Titan here? Hello? Hello, is Storm Titan here? Can, he, can you send him out to play? Uh, we've got a 
double rare. Um, Demonic of Scorch Runes, that's going straight to the pool room. And by pool room, I mean whoever's going to buy it from me. All right, here we go. Black Iron Docks are us. Here we go. All right, let's head in. So our mission, should we choose to accept it, and we will, is to murderize everything in here. So if it moves, stab it, and if it doesn't move, stab it anyway. So having said that, I think the only stuff we actually required to kill is the uh, these things. This and the, the ones that spawn out of the ground, I think, is pretty much it. But we're going to kill all that anyway. Alright, we got the Whirly Boys out. Elemental Storm all over the floor. Someone will have to come by later with a brush to pick that up. It's not going to be me. <laughs> Alright, we've got an Arcane here. Uh, well, we had an Arcane. This Storm Fist. Similar to Storm Titan, but not quite. Okay, Haldros. I don't even get to read the names of these guys. Alright, and none of this loot looks particularly good, but I am going to pick it up anyway. Go and grab that Aether Cluster as well. We're up to... Well, that'll be number six. There we go. Alright, let's turn it in. Now we are coming up on 50 minutes in the video here, so I'm going to do a little bit of farming. Uh, so anyone who does not enjoy the farming, feel free to leave now. There will be no more progress on story. Um, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. You're not a merchant. Why am I talking to you? Uh, yes, there will be no more progress on story, so if this isn't your jam, then go ahead and head out, and I'll see you on the next one. For everybody who's happy to watch, um, let's go actually reset. I'm going to try and get some Golos Rings and maybe about a weapon. Uh, just maybe 20 minutes or so. See how we go. Uh, Golos runs usually three to four minutes. And the Temple of Osir is probably about the same. So maybe we'll do, let's say, three runs of each. See what we get. Okay, into the tomb. Once more into the tomb. All right, those guys are all standing up. Let's go back this way. Lightning? Nope. See, I'm not attacking any of this, but when I get hit, the vindictive flame things fire off. Or when I when I use the move skill to go through a pack, that also triggers lightning. So it's it's impossible not to kill half this stuff. Okay, fire, fire, statue. So yeah, while I normally prefer to do, you know, 20 or 30 runs to farm an item and then um, not show you that and only have gained 10% of a level because I didn't kill anything, it's just not possible with this character. You're going to kill tons of stuff just by accident. Uh, you're a fire, you're a statue. Uh, what do we got? We go left here. Fire. Just poke my head out the top here. Uh, nope, there are statues. So, down to the next level. These two here are, are fairly common. Um, I don't think I've ever seen them have the lightning sword, but they're usually there. I don't normally go this way. I think I see why. Okay, fire stick, fire stick. Oh, you've got a friend this time. That's nice. How about down here? Two fire sticks. Everybody's got a friend. Seems like everybody wants to be my friend as well. Um, back here. You... Oh, you've got two friends. Lucky you. Diamond Pendant of the Grove. Everybody's most hated affix by now. Alright, I see a couple of stars here. We're just going to whack them. Arcanux here as well. Goodbye to you. Alright, fire. Statue, statue. Right. 
Next step, we're off to the rotting croplands. And now we just run into the bug hive. Um, I may end up getting level 58 on this particular farming run. If I do get levels, I think I'll hold off to the start of the next episode to actually spend them. But, um, I might be in luck. I'm only kind of halfway through the level, so it might be okay. Alright, nobody's home that way. Or well, that way. There we go. Alright, heading down. Now, same as the other place, it's impossible not to kill half the bugs in here. Um, not that anyone really cares, but I would prefer not to get the XP. Um, actually, there's no point killing the guys with stars in here. I don't want the reputation with Homestead. Well, I do, but, you know, it's not particularly useful. Let's just put it that way. Alright, uh, we gotta go this way, unfortunately. Are you corrosive axe. All right, so we've made it downstairs. Um, we'll go see Gollum, beat him up, take his ring, and loot his fancy chest. If I remember, I often forget to loot the chest, and um, I don't know why. It's a pretty good chest, as far as chests go. All right, Gollum's the deep dweller, level sixty-four. He's got seven levels on me. That hardly seems fair. Uh, Terra Relic, that's a blueprint. Alright, and that's it. Okay, main menu. Come back in. Let's go get a bashy stick. Before we do that, however, first things first. I have to eat that blueprint. That one. And what do we actually get? So Mighty of Scorched Runes is not horrible. Aside from the complete lack of useful resistances, which I guess kind of does make it horrible. Anyway. What was that, six minutes for the run? It's not too bad. Uh, you lightning? You're not lightning. Alright, let's go this way. What do we got? Uh, we got three fire dudes. Yep, that's the technical term. They're all fire dudes now. Also got uh, just the one here. And it's a fire one as well. Not having a huge amount of luck here. Probably should have gone up that way actually now that I'm thinking about it. But um, definitely didn't. <laughs> Look at this, I'm a bug zapper. <laughs> okay, another fire. What about you, your fire. I don't think there are any over this way. Uh, I will go have a look though. Just a quick sticky beak. Uh, nope, nothing that way. How about you, fire? Uh, what about you? You're a statue. You don't even get to have a weapon. Alright, let's go down to second floor. Lightning? Fire. A couple of stars though, so we can kill these two for their reputation. That's fire. And there's none other there, so that's fine. Run back through the pack, zap everybody. Okay, you've you've got a friend. You've got two friends. Arcanus, I'm pretty sure Arcanus is just default arcane monster name because uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen him with a different um, different avatar. Okay, two fire dudes there, that's no good. Uh, where am I going? Around the corner here. So one, two fire dudes and three fire dudes, okay. Luck is absolutely horrible today. Pathfinding also, as always, absolutely horrible today. Okay, uh, no lightning sticks this time. So let's head back to the rotting croplands. We'll have another go at Gullus. Um, could also think about maybe finding a new helmet. Um, I don't need to kill you guys. Your reputation is worthless. 
or at least worth less. Here we go. All right, bugs. Uh, you're ethereals though. I think I want to kill you. You should do uh, Black Legion. Oh, the outcast? Suddenly I don't care anymore. Okay, nothing in there. Nope, not here. Ooh, level 9 Elemental Storm, that's pretty good. Alright, here's my bug hole. Phrasing. <laughs> Alright, we can go straight through the middle here. Very nice, very nice. Uh, top way is blocked, good. It's always one, either the top or the bottom way is always blocked. Every time. Alright, definitely picking up some significant gains in terms of XP, so I may actually end up hitting 58 this episode. She'll be right. Alright, the Den of the Lost. You know what? I almost never go on the right side here. Let's take the right side. Not for any reason in particular, but why not? Why not is the reason. Okay, Gollus, what do we got? Stone-faced of Celerity. Well, Celerity is completely worthless. Um, Stone-faced could be okay. I think that's... It's going to be armor stuff. Um, is it bleeding and piercing res as well? Piercing res and percent armor. So stone-faced is actually not horrible, but celerity is... Eek. Speaking of eek. <laughs> no. Uh, let's bank all this. Alright, we'll go for another run through the temple. This one might be the last one. We'll see how I feel at the end of it. Definitely could do another run, but eh, we'll see. No promises. Should make that the byline of the channel. Ficus plays games. No promises. There we go. It's all fire. It's fire all the way down. Um, we got a couple over here, have we? Two, two, that's it, just two, okay. I'm gonna go up the top way here. So just here, flanking the uh, doorway. Ah, both statues. You know what? I wanna get something out of this, so we're gonna kill this one bird thing here. Maledictions, well, Stormcallers, Alchemists, Scorchers. None of that's particularly good. How's that helmet? No. Okay, so there's a couple over... there's one over here that I'm not going to end up checking this run, uh, unless I go a decent way out of my way. Uh, which uh, definitely could. Freak's Cleaver. Lovely. He won't be needing that, I've already killed him. I am actually going to go and check this one. I shouldn't, but I am. Oh, it's a statue. Pathfinding freaking out again. He's a statue as well. Well, I should have taken it as a sign and just not checked those ones. But it is what it is. Okay, you fire. You are Vlakinux. So, goodbye to you. What do you got? You are fire. Let's head downstairs see who else is home. Uh, right, so we got blocked doors over there. Fire and fire. Is that Tilkinux? Time warped? Okay. More reputation, thank you. This guy's uh, actually standing up for a change. Alright, fire and uh, no friends today. Oh, how sad. Okay, we got two fire. Go play with your other friend. I think he could use some uh, emotional support. What are you, your fire and no friend? Okay, horrible run. Horrible, horrible, horrible run. 
Not a single lightning in the house. Okay. Let's go say hi to Golas again. And you know what? I'm I'm going to do another run through the temple. I'm going to go again until I find one more weapon. We'll see how long it takes. So everybody check the time now. Should be about an hour and five minutes. Um, we'll see what it is when I eventually find another one. <laughs> It'll probably be about five minutes before the end of the uh, episode. So if we're here for three hours, then we're here for three hours. I'm going to regret saying that. <laughs> I'm definitely hitting 58 here in the farming section. Alright, this will be the last run for Golas, but I do want to get another weapon, so we'll go do that a couple more times. Okay, reputation with the outcast. Eh, not really anything I care too much about. If everybody could get out of my way, then I don't have to kill you. That would be ideal. Let's see which rock is blocked. Of course it's that one. One day I'm going to get to make a straight run, but uh, not today. Alright, down we go. So which way is actually faster? I feel like it's the left side. Let's, let's have a look. So that's... A, honestly, it's probably about the same. Probably actually doesn't matter. Where's Gollus? There he is. Come here, you. You've got a ring I want. There we go. Subjugators of readiness. Lovely. And shrapnel pistol. Alright, so... Golas... Golas has, uh... Let me down. Alright. The mission. Get another lightning sword, or lightning axe to drop. How long's it gonna take? Well, it's already been 25 minutes, and I don't think I've had one. Um, that's the wrong... that's definitely the wrong roof gate. Okay, here we go. So, video could be ending in 30 seconds if it's on one of these two. Or we could be going for hours. That also looks like it might be... Nope. It looks like there's a room there on the map. There definitely isn't, but it... It does look like there is one. Okay, you're already standing up, which is unfortunate for me. I hate when this one's blocked as well. It's awful. I'm going to go all the way around here. These guys are just going to have fire swords anyway. There's four of them. Okay. Head up the stairs here. How many are laying down? Two. All right, all right. Lightning? Lightning? Nope, both fire. Alright. No one here today. Old mates are already standing up, so that's no good. Um, that door's blocked. Lightning? Lightning? Fire. Very unfortunate. Alright, who else is out here? You guys are all standing up. So are you, you're laying down, you're also fire. Okay, we're taking out Al Gandia. Little bit of stress relief. Kill off all their friends. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip those ones. I think it's probably not worth the time. You guys are both standing up already. What else have we got? Oh, starting up the uh, the saw again. Hey, we got a lightning guy. All right, awesome. What do you got for me? Charged of thunder. Ah, uh, well, it says it's better, but I'm not sure I believe it. Uh, definitely got more conversion, but I don't really do a huge amount of physical. All right, one more, one more, one more. Gotta get one more. So you've got fire, you're no good. Yep, here comes the saw. I have no idea how well the uh, microphone picks that up, or if the microphone is uh, tuning it out. But it's quite loud. Alright, so one more. 
the next lightning thing that drops as is going to be the last one for the episode. Um, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. Corbin plating. Stellwater protection. I think that's the little guys that dropped that. Anyway, none of those are lightning swords, so we go again. I know I said I know I said the last one, but you know we can do one more. It'll be fine. Um, right, so three to blood pact. I don't really care. I don't really care about that either. You know the armor is really nice. Um, so we could just we could just straight swap this one. I think. Uh, what do we got? A little bit less lightning damage. Pierce conversion. I don't care. The rest of this is one for one swap. All right, we'll do that. Um, I am also looking for helmets, but I don't think they... Do they drop them here, or do you have to go to the docks for it? Actually not sure. That'll be fine though. Alright, next. Once more into the temple. And I definitely do mean it this time. The next one that drops is, uh, is the end of the episode. So is it going to be the first guy? We're right here by the door. No, it's not. How about the second guy? Nope. Third guy? Definitely not. That's Definitely not. Alright, let's go back this way so I don't have to run all the way around. Uh, how about you? Oh, there's another lightning one. Alright, that's it. This is the last run. Charged of Thunder again. Cannot get... Got, I got a triple rare the last time, and it's just completely cursed my luck. Give me them stars. Where is old mate going? Running around the corner there. Alright, what do we got? Sapphire of Elemental Balance, Impurity, and the rest of that can stay... Can it? Any MIs? No, the rest of that can stay on the floor. Alright, so we finished this run, and that's going to be the end of the episode, but uh, I do have to finish the run first. So, Black and X dies again. I'm pretty sure I've killed this guy just about every time I come through here. So, you know, sucks to be him. Are any of you standing, laying down, rather? Bullsar. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've killed him a couple of times as well. Old Wraith. You got a lightning stick for me? Of course you don't. Of course you don't. Why would you have the thing that I want? Alright, let's go check old mate over here. He is laying down. Oh, oh, he's fire. Um, definitely not worth going back any further that way. Yeah, I think uh, as far as the weapons go. This one may be slightly better. It's got more offensive ability, less flat lightning, more percentage. I don't know. They're all kind of same, same, honestly. Okay, and all of you guys are all standing up, so no dice there. All right, last floor. Something like 10 chances remaining. Oh, there's another lightning one. Alright, come on, give me something nice. Be nice to me. You, you're not nice at all. Although alacrity is not horrible. The attack speed is nice. Alright, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. The attack speed is good. Alright, just the one, no friends. How about over here? Three? Wrong ones, but still three is not too bad. What is that? Someone put a storm box on me. How rude. Alright, what do we got? Uh, we gotta take the long way, that's what we've got. One fire. Two fires. What? Three more chances? Uh, nope. And, nope, that's it. Alright, 
Well, that'll be the end of this episode, so thank you all very much for watching. See you on the next one, and goodbye for now.